I am occasionally the best custom player in my room. It's true, most of the time. I would rotate at 90 degrees. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, here it is. The day I break out of prison. The well. truth is, this place didn't always feel so bad. You see, my boyfriend, he's kind of a big deal. Ruler of the dead, the king of darkness, <laughs> grand pooba of pretension. Don't tell him about that last one. But when he left, he was all, do not leave the protection of this realm. So now that's a law. Fast forward, He's been missing for centuries, the jerk. So, screw it. I'm leaving. Just gonna pop out, find my mom, and find out why it's been a thousand years since anyone bothered to stop by. might be the only one still doing his job around here. He's about to have a terrible day. I feel kind of bad. The Gatekeeper. Ancient and narrow of focus. It knows only the decree of its master. It's just doing its job. Entering the realm is permitted. Leaving is not. My lady, this door is not yours to take. <laughs> it's been long enough. I think it's time we ease up on the whole none shall pass thing. My queen, none can change the decrees of the realm save its lord. Not even you. Figured you'd see it that way. Have you heard of the Bat of Persuasion? I have not. See, here's the thing. In most circumstances, if you were faced with a character that was told to stay within the protection of a particular realm so that no harm may come to them, and they reckless and they left it, you'd consider them reckless. Most likely, I would consider them reckless. I get it. Yeah, call to adventure, etc. But you're safe. You're safe within the confines. And there was a reason why someone wanted to protect you. Maybe there was some imminent danger that was supposed to be cast aside. Maybe there was a threat against you, but not against other people. As opposed to circumstances where you'd be the savior and you'd want to protect others. And you'd want to listen. You'd want them to listen to that sort of warning and to that sort of advice. But... If your boyfriend has gone out for cigarettes for a thousand years, I think it's reasonable to actually leave the realm and try to find out what the hell has happened. So I can't hold it against her in those sort of circumstances. Also, based on everything you've seen so far, and on current game knowledge, what color do you think we're playing? Or the answer maybe we're probably playing black, and that's not entirely inaccurate, but we're playing red. We are playing red in this game, although it has aspects of magic's black. This, of course, is an extended tutorial, as story modes in quite a few games tend to be. The initial campaigns tend to play out that way. The first thing I need to do is burn a card. Burning a card gives me one mana and one gem. I don't have all day here. Just burn the Chloe sunshine and we can get past this. The Chloe sunshine is right there in your hand. Burn it already. I know that I'm supposed to do that, and you hopefully also know that I know that I'm supposed to do that. This text is going to stay up here until you click and burn that Chloe sunshine. Trust me, getting one mana and one gem every turn for burning a card is a great deal. 
she's actually very much so correct on that one. And you have to keep in mind, you get one colorless mana and a gem each turn for burning a card. So if one turn you conclude, hey, I have enough gems to play my stuff, and I would rather keep the cards, keep in mind that by not burning a card, not only are you not getting the gem you could, but also you're not getting that colorless mana. You don't just gain one mana each single turn to the maximum by default like in Hearthstone. You don't get any. So yes, while you're depleting your supply of cards in hand, which may feel awful, you kind of have to keep doing that. Otherwise you're not going to ramp up. Which may be what you want in some sort of circumstances. Maybe you don't want to ramp up beyond some point. But that's, you know, irrelevant. Oh yeah, this text is going to step fine. I'm burning Chloe's hand. Goddamn unicorn! Playing for red! It's, it's a wind-up unicorn! What on earth is going on here? Alright, that mini tar costs one mana and one red gem. Now, let's create a minion. Start by summoning this mini tar. I'll get to that soon enough. Just get that mini tar on the board. Hey now, I've been clear about my needs. <laughs> Not respecting this woman's needs, eh? Mini tar for the Winnie tar. You know what I'm doing here. Most minions are sluggish when they're first created. Summoning sickness. It should perk up the next turn. That's a good start, but the gatekeeper won't step aside without a fight. Supposed to click the button. And she has nothing more to tell me, because there's nothing more I can do. I will keep pestering her until I get all her lines, as one does. That's the whole point. I didn't do that in previous playthroughs, but uh, why would I not want to hear what she has to say? Cards always cost both mana and gems. Yeah, I know. Burning cards builds up my resources. After a few turns, I'll be able to play more powerful cards. I should burn this forlorn spirit. Ignition! Actually, no, I can play Ignition. It's not even try to do that. Chloe! You know what's more fun than one mana? Two mana. Burn that card so we have two. Chloe Sunshine! Having one mana is so last <laughs> Get with the times and burn another card. God damn it! Back in my day we had one mana! And we were okay with that! My days, of course, were last turn. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Burning the spirit. Alright! Now I have two mana to use each turn. Drag the other forlorn spirit from your hand to any lane. <laughs> Go away, sunshine! That forlorn spirit is looking quite sad about not being played. Go away, sunshine! You're bringing me down. But if you play that forlorn spirit, everything will be okay. It's emotional manipulation here, Puck. Pussy. I'm playing the spirit. <laughs> Come play. Yes, card description. You can also zoom in on those cards to admire the art and to read the text. It looks like that Minotaur is ready to start fighting. Remember, it's a Minotaur, not a Minotaur. Minions threaten the three lanes in front of them. Tell the Minotaur to attack the Gatekeeper. Yeah, as if I'm going to do that. Chloe Sunshine! What are you waiting for? Attack with that Minotaur. Chloe Sunshine! Drag that Minotaur. Drag it! Chloe Sunshine! You'll be able to click on that soon enough. Now's the time to attack. Chloe Sunshine! Fine. Nice! A few more of those and we'll have him beat. Chloe Sunshine! Alright, fine. I love the fact that you're conditioned. You a minion to block my attack. I need to find a way to get attacks through. Yeah, I, hopefully you're keeping up with the tutorial. I've seen this too many times at this point. The concepts are extremely simple, though. Deal two damage to that hellion. Chloe Sunshine. We're burning time here. Let's burn that hellion instead with ignition. Seriously, cast ignition. Chloe Sunshine. You didn't start the fire. No, you didn't light it, but you shouldn't fight it. Okay, just cast ignition. Oh, is sunshine? No, fine, fine, casting ignition. You don't have to drag it to the board and then pick a target. You can just immediately drag it to the target. Nothing stands in the way now. 
make sure both the Minitar and the Forlorn Spirit attack. Glowy sunshine! Oh, come on now. You're not even going to say anything at this juncture. Fine. Yes, keep attacking. Glowy sunshine. Ugh. Oops, I almost forgot to burn a card this turn. Pick one and burn it. Could I have moved them instead? Would she have said anything about that? <sighs> We're not going to play this long enough for me to actually... Not going to burn Chloe Sunshine, that would be such a waste. I'm going to burn this bit. Finish off the gatekeeper. Did I miss an opportunity to check? Chloe Sunshine? I mean, I can actually play things, but I can't play Chloe Sunshine. Why does this even work? <sighs> play this. Okay, fine, fine. She's not telling me anything at this point, obviously. And since I only... Since I can only exclusively end the turn at this particular point, she's not going to tell me much of anything. Sad. Could have used the condition on the face, but no. Successive. Burning a Hellion and playing single minion, the Pit Fiend, which looks suspiciously like the Gatekeeper. And of course, I cannot play Chloe Sunshine unless I burn the Spirit. It's not of much use. It's probably smarter to use Ignition to kill the minion, though I have lethal. But I want to play Chloe Sunshine, and damn it, I'm going to. Long time coming, that one. Blocked, but still. Wound up Unicorn. You're dead, come on, just... Thank you. In a thousand years. Anyone reasonable will see it my way. True. You risk everything. As we always do. Okay. Tell you what. If your boss drops by, tell him I'm looking for my mom. And maybe I wouldn't mind if he called. Because she doesn't want to abandon him, but she has stuff to do. And ultimately, she did leave a message at this particular point. So hey, if he does drop by, it's not like she's actually abandoning him or is just suspecting him in any way. She emerges in a darkened corner of a city she does not know. The world is not as it was. Mortals have remade the horizon with their towers of glass. At least, the puppies are cuter here. What's your deal, little wolf? Above them, a scuttling parasite moves in the shadows. It lurks, hoping for scraps of the underworld's power. <laughs> little godling, you look lost. For but a taste of your power, I'll help you find your way. <laughs> she has stood beside the Lord of Nightmares. This broken creature gives her little pause. Hey, loser. If it's power you want a taste of... Yeah. To be embarrassingly long to realize this, but we're dealing with... Percy, who claims that her boyfriend is the Lord of the Dead, and she's over here, venturing out from her domain, looking for her mother. This is Persephone.
Yet another tutorial, obviously. More mechanics get introduced, but that's not a problem. <sighs> Just like last game, I'm going to start by burning a card. Cards I burn get shuffled back into my deck. This is life tap. Life seal, essentially. The damage dealt by this monster replenishes the health of uh, the enemy hero. And of course I'm going to burn a card. What, what do I want to burn? This guy is reasonably useless. I mean, he gives me another card, but he's only a full one. I get that he replaces himself, but uh, that's not as tempting. Let's get rid of one Chloe Sunshine. That Strigoi pup will attack every turn if I don't stop it. I'd rather burn Chloe Sunshine right now than later on, because cards you burn go back into your library. So the sooner you burn it, the sooner you are probably going to get it. No, oh, why did it? Why did it burn a thing? I should have. I should have tried to play a thing. I couldn't have even tried to play a thing. I need to put down a blocker of my own. Summon a Minitar into one of the three lanes opposite the Strigoi pub. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm going to draw other things. How about Chloe Sunshine? Step one: summon a creature. Step two: just keep playing. Really. Nothing else to it. Step three? Nope. We're done here. There's just step one. How about Chloe Sunshine? My boss makes me write more lines like this every time you don't summon this creature. I approve! I might have missed a single line, but hey. That's fine. Let's play the minute all. I know. Attack and health. Typical. Can close the stream, can close whatever we want. Can I press this them all? Fine, fine, fine. Every time the end of turn button is active and ought to be pressed. I can't really milk any more lines. Out of policy. Like, yeah, I know, obviously. Use the ignition to burn my face. Will I get any lines by trying to play Chloe Sunshine? No, I won't. Well, damn. Not going to burn my second Chloe Sunshine. Um, there's no point in playing the full-on spirit. It's just well, it deals one damage to face. Now yeah, let's burn one of them. And instead of playing just one. Let's play two mini dolls. They have the same stats. attack either enemy. Pick one that you think is the most dangerous and attack. How about Chloe Sunshine? God damn it, no. How about I move this minion to the side? No, I, I probably will be allowed to move to the side. But how about I try to attack now? Uh. Alright, how about I burn something this turn? Spirit. Fine. I'm gonna play the Minotaur and the Spirit. Ah, I'm going to play the Melpomene Muse. Right in the middle. I probably should have defended over here, played a creature over there, but too late for regrets.
It's okay, I hit my face, I don't mind. Right? I'm slowly starting to mine, to some extent. Oh, of course! Yeah, going... Scruffy vampire has lurker. It'll be hard to attack it directly unless it's alone. Yeah, well, that's the problem, right? Right, it has life tap, so it's just healing this thing. But the good news is that I can play Chloe Sunshine! Yeah, of course, local. Oh no! Well, it means it's going to keep dealing those two points of damage. If I move the minute all here, can it still attack? Nope. Spent its time moving. Such a waste. I get a card for my efforts. Ah, yes, finally, here's ignition. Ignition to kill this. Tempted to not burn any cards this turn. I'll just play this. Actually, playing the spirit in the Minitol is wiser. <laughs> Come play. I'm not ramping up, but that's okay. And down goes the vampire. Come on, just die. Okay, Creeper, listen up. Getting grabby in an alleyway is never okay. Uh, you... what are you? That's not listening, that's talking. Uh, you smell like summer. Yeah, no like kidding. darkness overwhelming. Are you a god? Even if I am, there are way bigger gods. No, the real gods have been gone for so long. You are going to change everything. I'm not here to change anything. I just want to find my mom. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Woof indeed, little pup. Hey! <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> Vampires are fair game. But this is not okay. All right, little wolf. <laughs> Enough! Gotta get it now. Look at this thing! Blue background, color blue, Norse mythology, probably Fenrir. Did you know 
You can zoom in on any card to learn what it does. Right. Let's burn our spirit. Actually, I'm more tempted to burn ignition. Ignition is pretty nice, though. Burn the spirit. Play a minute all. Boy, it's going to be difficult to deal with. Fine, let's burn this. Uh, actually, I want him for next turn. Let's get rid of amnesia for now, it's not really helping. And temporarily block this with a spirit. <laughs> Come play. Oh. That stone mother has defender. She'll protect minions near her unless I find a way around her. All right. So first of all, let's burn a single ignition. Instead of playing the Iron Belly Wyvern, which, which is a 3-2, let's play this guy. Unfortunately, this is almost making it difficult to deal with. It would be even more annoying if it had any attack whatsoever. Uh, unfortunately, that was a smart move. Oh, oh, that was a that was just burned. I don't like this, but thankfully I can I break the chain. I that lane enchantment to get around the Stone Mother. Um, that's actually not a problem anymore. Just don't worry. I'm not blocked anymore. Um, wanna play Chloe Sunshine? So first and foremost, let's um, <clears throat> burn the Minotaur. Lane enchantments are the coolest thing ever. And you should play that one right now. No, no, I want to burn the Minotaur. If you play this lane enchantment correctly, you can order takeout. Go ahead, treat yourself. I want to burn the Minotaur. Fine, I'm going to play the enchantment, but that prevents me from playing Chloe. Oh. Minions with Agile ignore both Defender and Worker. You can use Agile minions to get around that stone mother. Cool. Except that's mostly irrelevant in these circumstances. Wait, what? Why does this just say minus one? Ah, yes, yeah, overkill, of course. Alright. Now I draw a card because of that guy. I'm going to eliminate this wolf as well. Uh, might as well burn something to be able to play the wife. Um, I think I I'll use the ignition on the wolf. Let's burn a minute anyway. Use ignition on this wolf. Adjacent minions have almost one. Oh, you. That's terrible. 
Yeah, but yes, it's almond, you can clearly see that. I could play the wyvern, but it's just going to die. At the very least, it'll take care of the wolf. Unfortunately, that rush will go to waste entirely. Let's play the Minotaur instead. Terrible. It's horrible that Alma works on spells as well. So universal. Could use ignition on the stone mother. Not that much of a point, but still. I might need ignition next time. Let's just let's keep it in my hand. Oh no. Oh great. Just dead because of the ice spike. And now I'm going to ditch the fallen spirit and play Chloe Sunshine. All right, we're not going to use ignition. I going face and using ignition just solves the problem. That's pretty ah mistakes. I shouldn't have tried to get rid of the minions. That's pointless. That's entirely pointless. Why? Just go face. Don't get distracted by all those tiny minions. That's not the point. Yeah, it's completely beside the point. Attack face. Use ignition to attack face and win. Don't bother with the minions. Unless it's necessary and really makes sense. Gotta spot that lethal. I... I I'm sorry. Oh, now you have something to say. Well, little wolf, attacking me was not cool. Not cool at all. I don't even know why I attacked. You're like a memory that I can't quite place. Can I join your pack? <laughs> My pack? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Fighting me was not a great sales pitch. I know. I wasn't myself. I really can keep it together, though. And you look like you could use a friend. He's got a point. We'll try for a day. And absolutely no biting. Athens. A deal gone bad. She's gone. Being right here, looks like. Can't tell whether she made the sale. The Stragoi need to pay. Vampires. They'll pay once we know for sure they did it. For now, it's just more blood on the road. We should ride! Let them know there's a line they can't cross. Let them feel the fear. If we all go, it'll be a war. And I want the money they owe before we start a war. But... Gara speaks for the fates. If the Strigoi are responsible, they bleed for this. I'll handle it and find out whether they killed our sister. Very alone. pragmatic. Very pragmatic indeed. These presumably are werewolves. You have something to add? Everyone should ride. 
Shake the skies down on that vampire trash? I said I'd go alone. I'm just saying what we're all thinking. I need to know you're going to draw blood. Well then, there's one way you can be sure. There's no point in infighting. Why would you make... We're playing blue. A completely different campaign. I need to make sure I make the wrong moves to get the lights. Also, iconic art, because I see the art used. I'll ride ahead. In, um, in all sorts of. My Valkyrie Tuff is wounded and won't survive a hit from that fricky scout. Game problem materials. My Grease Monkey has an active ability that will help. Yes. Units. Every ability has a utility cost, but some abilities have say, a regular action cost, meaning you cannot perform a regular action after you pay the cost. So you can't attack or move, unless you have other means of doing that. And of course, I don't want to actually do that right now, because I want to get additional lines out of her. And also, I want to check the cards I have, because I don't know them, this is blue! No, they also uh, werewolves. Nice. Plus two, plus two, and regen two? Sure. I don't need two of these. These are... Oh, come on. Give me lines. Give me lines. Fine, I know, I know, I know. Just give me lines. Ah, you're no fun. Now that it's healed up, the Valkyrie Tough has a chance to survive another attack. Yeah, I get it. Give me lines. Not gonna give me lines. Fine. Ooh, Swift, which is Wind Fury. Which is. Wait, what's Wind Fury in magic terms? Oh my goodness, I'm. S so uncultured. I actually don't know. Anyway, I can play another Grease Monkey. Um, that's the best I can play at this particular juncture. Over here, lady. Need a wrench. All right, blue. Well, I'm also blue. But... All right, blue opponent, as opposed to me All being right blue. Ahead. <sighs> yeah, she can't be saved, but she can use her ability. There's mostly no way to save. I could potentially draw a card. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to draw a zero cost card that actually saves this. That I know. Alright. Let's get rid of um, this because it's fairly expensive and the effect is so minor. Actually, if I want to play minions, I could also get rid of the healing. Yep. Plenty of good things here. For instance, I don't want to get one of the transfusions. Should I? I want to play transfusion the very next turn. Alright, let's get rid of one transfusion. Get it back as soon as possible. Play the let's Valkyrie Tom. And now we're down to using abilities. And you get healed again. Synergetic. I like it. That's what they are supposed to be. That's how blue plays here. I should also get a feel for things as far as magic colors are concerned. Whether this feels 
like Magic Blue or not. And again, I haven't played much Magic myself, so there's little in ways of telling. Oh my goodness. Occupying Minion has plus two, z plus zero, and overrun. Meaning any damage dealt in excess goes to my face. Now thankfully, I can remove an enchantment. Actually, it just returns it to the owner's hand. It draws me a card. Frankly, I'm not particularly interested in that. I would much rather use uh, the buff that I have access to. Let's burn a single fossil. And you just the, the transfer all the ba all the eggs in one basket. Should that be the case? Doesn't feel like the greatest of ideas. But it'll probably buff her. She's ultimately quite stranded, and she needs the bonus stats. All right, go face, lady. You go face, and you go face. But as far as we can tell, our leader is quite pragmatic and wise. She's perfectly willing to wreak havoc only, exclusively for the purpose of violence, mind you, as long as she's absolutely convinced that it's justified. She does not want to start a gang war on a hunch, but if they were actually truly disrespected and mistreated, she's absolutely willing to do that. It's not that she wants to avoid violence on purpose. So she's not weak. And she's not just overwhelmingly. See you in Valhalla. Oh boy, Valkyries. Yeah, she needs to be eliminated. Are there any good ways of doing that? Yes! Displaying the enforcer. This is going to be glorious. Actually, what for? What's the purpose? I can just deal lethal now. Could do it for the hell of it, but very little reason to do that. Also, the additional... Uh, yeah, I got rid of the second... Um, Enchantment. Well, not enchantment. This can spell. This can buff. Could play this one to deal with more damage. But once again, I have lethal. There's no need for lethal kill. I have the tools to deal with the situation if I will to not deal lethal ex stun. But Blue has spells based on lightning and frost. Oh my goodness. So it's plus six, plus six on an enchantment? For full mana and two blue crystals. Amazing. Granted, that's conditional, otherwise it's just a full fall, which is understated as far as I understand. But it makes sense. With anger in her heart, the daughter of storms takes to the skies. Athens, the Vampire Court where Ixion the Betrayer rules with bloody hands. <sighs> more. Bring me more. I don't care what it costs. I want more God's blood. No. The Valkyrie. Oh no, that's an exceedingly poor idea. I wouldn't do that if she I were you. She approaches already, Lord Ixio. Even now, she bludgeons her way to your doorstep. 
And you go discuss our dealings with the storm, daughter. Is and get me more. Sounds to me like in the courtyard below, Ingrid opens negotiations. Yeah, that sounds pretty much like that. You learned something about the storm today. You learned that one way or another, I get what I'm owed. You learned that when a rider dies, the storm breaks you. Well then. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, lady. Roger Burn. Yeah, the pup. I know the pup. The Chosen, a 3 3 that gets incredibly buffed when Valkyries die. She's going to die to the street guy. Because you defensive focus. I mean, what can I do? I... This is a great call. Straight up brilliant. 3-3 three, 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 fall 2. I get it, it do, costs 2 crystal as well, so we have to have a reasonable blue buy-in, but it's still brilliant. If you're going to commit to blue, well, this is a how you probably should have these as far as I can tell at least on this level at least at this point I don't like even trades but then again who does my ball healer is going to die need a wrench goodbye Did the healing actually increase max health? I wasn't paying... I wasn't paying attention! I should be paying attention at all times. <sighs> I want the Valkyries buffed by other Valkyries. So let's get rid of the additional healing. I'd regret doing so. Oh, should I get rid of the buff? The buff is also awesome! These guys are also quite good. Fine, let's get rid of the healing, even though I might end up getting that horribly. Now let's play this guy in mid lane. Let's do this. Any buff on that Strigoi pup, and he's and she's dead. The hell's all right. Let's. Fair enough. Oh no, that's Blood Moon. Uh, that's Blood Moon. That just means additional cards and uh, healing. Yeah, it increases the max. Oh no, not like this. Swift, that's. No, it can act the stun, right? Will it go face? Wait, what? Oh no, Swift is Wind Fury. Well, we don't want 6 damage to our face, do we? No, we don't. Um. Well, here's the deal. I think for this turn, we become a fall fall, it'll still die. Actually, it will not. All right, I have a plan. So step one, make the sacrifice. Step one, get rid of the healing. Oh, it's already been burned. Fine, I'm, I'll get rid of something else. Edge will not help. And I probably want to enforce it for next time. Let's get rid of the card I specifically mentioned as awesome. Or the buff that is pretty goddamn awesome. That's the problem. You want that mana, but what are you going to burn? 
Yeah, let's get rid of this card. It's absolutely awesome. And a stone to tears chosen. Over here. See you in Valhalla. After was trading. It's a fall fall now. Yes. Yes, familiar. Do you want to lie still? Tag. Duskwing Angel. Hmm. Oh, thankfully she can be healed. Oh my. After killing a minion in combat, fully heals. Uh, so even a temporary. But I, I have a solution to this problem, thankfully. Let's get rid of the healing again. No, I can't get rid of it again. <sighs> For now, let's get rid of this nice buff. Let's play the Enforzo. In the opposite lane, it doesn't have to be straight up opposite, right? Just the oppo the opposite lane. I'm about to find out. Hit the road. Nope, that's not how it works. Okay. Alright, mistakes are made, but I'm fine. Not gonna unhand her. Of course we're playing blue against red. Some familiar cards though. And um, creatures that have life drain, life tap, like this one, absolutely can and do go over what may seem like max health. So it's absolutely worthwhile to have them and drink up. Now I'm going to do some... <laughs> yeah, some mulliganing. That's not exactly mulliganing. I'm going to burn some cards, obviously, because I want the mana. And I definitely want Storm Daughters Chosen. Unfortunately, I don't have any cheap cards. I can play absolutely nothing at this particular turn. I mean, I'm going to burn a card, obviously, but... Other than that, I'm going to burn one. To I don't need three. It's ridiculous. And unfortunately, there's nothing for me to play right now. I start up. Uh, I start out with more health. But it's not particularly meaningful. An ankle biter. Ah, yes, and it becomes a 3-2 if it draws blood from me. We don't want that. Thankfully, I can play the Valkyrie tough. This card is awesome. Unfortunately, I can't play it quite yet. I'm going to burn one healing. Gives me the opportunity to play a Valkyrie tough. Plopping it down here. Let's best, do this. Best I could have done at this juncture. You'll die. Yes, I get it. But such is life. I'll take that trait. I will absolutely take it. And now I have to choose between going left and going right. Can't put minions in both lanes, how can I? Alright. Let's get rid of one of the chosen, even though they are absolutely awesome, each and every single one of them.
And let's put her here, because we don't want this to transform into a 3-2. See you in Valhalla! Ow. That heals face, but it's still better than the minion growing. Life tap and death row draw a card, fine, fine. Oh boy. Alright. I can use healing on her, summon a Valkyrie tough. It'll be fine. Burn one healing. I mean, transfusion is also an option, but then I won't be defending in both lanes. So for now, the plan is different. Healing. <laughs> and then I draw another healing. I'll just dispose of this, leave it at 1 HP. I know that that's dangerous, but... I'm moderately okay with that. Let's do this. That'll be it for now. I have two amazing buffs, and I don't even need to burn cards to afford them. There's also the... Also the Road Queen. It was awesome. Popping my Valkyries. And it's good stats aside from that. Three fall for three. Yes, that's a good card. Regardless of other stats. All right. So this is a 3-3. Three, three. Ordinarily. Hmm. So with the buff, with both of these buffs, actually. It's plus three health. No, that's no good. I have to heal it this turn, otherwise it just dies. Uh, this is plus one, plus one, but I'll not be enough. Yep, yeah, it absolutely needs the healing, but the healing in itself is not enough. Uh, if I burn a card, I can do healing plus transfusion. And then it'll just barely live, but Transfusion means at the end of turn restore to health, but that's... Um, is that an ongoing effect or is it just something that fires off once at the end of a single turn? I don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to burn this buff as much as I hate to do so. Hopefully I get it back soon enough because I want the Grease Monkey on the board. Uh, apply healing. Maybe we should have started by applying healing. And do transfusion. Now you might be wondering why did I do that when I could have just um, buffed uh, the Storm Daughter's Chosen, but I'd rather keep the minion if I can. Despite all this buffing potential. And of course I needed to kill that anyway, because it heals up every time it kills a minion. So feeding it small minions is the exact opposite of what you want to do. Oh, she's at 20 health right now. Well, I'm at 12. All right, will you only heal once? Or will that go away? Do you permanently have region 2 now? No. It just gained a modifier like that. Well, I'll be damned. It just naturally heals every turn from now on. Alpha strike, which means it attacks first. Frenzy, which means that it can attack twice, and Life Tap, which of course means that it heals things. Um, Valkyrie Enforcer, as I found out, only works straight ahead. It doesn't work on the entire lane. You can't pick arbitrarily. You have to put it in front of the minion. It says opposite lane. This isn't the lane. Presumably it means the opposite column. So it's misleading to an extent, but... But oh well. Could burn the Grease Monkey, put the Road Queen and Transfusion in play. Transfusion on the Chosen. 
Um, of course I have the option of playing the Enforcer, bouncing that to hand, but I don't think that's a prudent use of resources. In which case, if I don't think that's a prudent use of... Well, I'd rather keep this handy, in case I need to use it. Queen! Boom to ride. Die. Excellent. Well, now they have gained momentum and bold presence. I should be fine. That's how blue works here? At least blue in this game. It's synergetic. Right. Let's see how the enforcer works. Presumably it bounces right in front of it. Yes! That's how it works. You can even see it over here. Hit the road. Yes. But it says opposite lane, which is, at least as far as I'm concerned, fully ambiguous. I think this is the opposite lane, and I figured I'd be able to pick, but I'm not. I'm not going to burn the Valkyr this Valkyrie in Falso. I want a card in my hand. I don't need resources as this, but... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to block all the lanes here, yeah, they're just gonna die. Play her for the buff. Is she agile? No. Oh no, a skilled activist! Gives you cards, excellent. He's skilled! He's an activist! Hey! Works for you. Frankly, he has, he has Lurker, so as long as he's protected by the minions, he's gonna be fine. He's horribly understated. It's a 1 3 for 3. But you want that card draw, don't you? After all, having the best stats on minions is meaningless if you don't have them in your hand and therefore cannot play them at all. So you want that sweet, delicious card draw. One of mine is dead, left beaten in a parking lot. Oh dear. Such sorrows. Okay. The Demon King wants the God's blood that you owe. And then he wants more. Tell your junkie king that he gets more when I have more to sell. And pay me for the loss of my rider. Plus the blood she was carrying. Oh. You deny my king? Yes. I want my money. My guys are making a fell deal. They're not being, being moralistic about it. They're not being assholes about it. Just being reasonable. It's the cornerstone of pretty much any civilization and any dealings. This is not a matter of bigotry and a matter of conflict between vampires and werewolves. It's nothing of this sort and it's not excessive demands. It is a deal, a business deal. And if these things are not upheld, and if justice is not had, well... I guess those found in breach of contract will find themselves bereft of life. More cards. Ice Spike. Well, maybe not more cards. Maybe I had them before. I just did not draw them. A Scout! Oh, so it has Wind Fury. I guess it's it's a Valkyrie too, so it can get buffed by so many, so many, so many things. Um, let's toss out a single spike. Its primary function appears to be freezing, and it goes through armor, but it also deals two damage. It's surprisingly useful just for the purpose of dealing two points of damage to enemies. Especially at the start. Playing the scout. 
I'll ride ahead. I can outheal this damage. I deal four points with her every turn, and this only heals her for two. Question is, can I survive the entire pro? Oh no, what's that? Oh, that's the burnt ankle biter. Oh no. Is she agile? She's not agile, she's just swift. Oh boy. I mean, I want the speedway, but not now. Uh, now I need the spike. Do I need the spike? Playing the tough would be very reasonable. Extremely reasonable. You cannot overstate the reasonability of such an action. I would have a 3-3 blocking these two guys, and then I could use the scout to trade. A 1 cast, 1 crystal versus 1 cast, 1 crystal. It's reasonable. What if these get buffed? Be reasonable, Dustin. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. Burning the enforcer. Playing the tough. Playing it safe. Let's do this. I'm not just going to play removal on one minion and then go to face for fall, leaving fall points of damage on the board. That equalizes the damage taken and received on the enemy side, but on my side, that's four damage to the face every turn. Why would I leave that sitting on the board? Excellent. And now, let's get rid of the excessive healing I have over here. And play the Road Queen. Yeah, let's let's block. Let's be smart about this. To ride. I know she's a brilliant buffer, and I want to keep her safe. But I also keep my want to keep my face safe. And I'd rather not give my opponent the opportunity to mess with my face too much. Okay, you have four. And fall red. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Excellent. Alright, here's the plan. I'm getting rid of the Enfalser now. Playing the Vampire Tough over here. Let's do this. I should put the speedway under the fall fall. More health. More reasonable. All you know, I could put it under the Road Queen and deal six damage right this turn. Long term thinking, though, long term thinking. And of course, this is Trample. Overrun doesn't make that much sense with the Rhinoceros icon here. Yeah, that's Trample. In magic terms, of course. Kill them. Oh boy, whoa! Whoa, poison! Or well, whatever the hell you want to call that. Yeah, deadly is a keyword. Also, oh no! Oh no, this is monstrous. Absolutely terrifying. Not only that, if it grows to a lot of health, it becomes immortal. So the only way you can deal with it at that point is bouncing it or disabling it in some fashion or silencing it. This is a terrifying minion. Now, I can trade with it this turn. Certainly don't want to. Thankfully, I have the transfusion, which solves that problem. Spiking it doesn't seem like the way to go. They go, yeah, she'll have more health, she'll be fine, I'll just put buffs on her. No, she's gonna die. That minion is deadly, that's what this call means. Think, Vestin, think. Using this buff, not the brightest of ideas in these circumstances. My goodness, is that not bright. Oh, 
Or is it? I mean, what choice do I have? I could... <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to trade outright. It's not like I really have good options here. Then I'm I guess I'm going to buff the minion or play Road Queen. I'll probably play Road Queen. Makes more sense. Trade outright, because my goodness, I desperately need to. That's 10. If you play Road Queen first, this deals one more point of damage. I mean, it's blatant. Because yes, she buffs him, but the two of them would have buffed him more. He would have been at 7 attack at that point. Little mistakes like this. And I'm not burning cards on purpose here. I kinda need the spike, potentially. Or do I? I can burn a single card a turn. I guess I will burn the spike. Yeah, keep the buff. Kill them. Hate you. Hate you so damn much. Well, um much the only thing I can do in these circumstances is just kill this trading and go to face. And play this and above. Oh, you know, I can just buff my Road Queen. This also makes sense. <laughs> Down you go, little fella. Let's do this. Transfusion. It's also quite simple to see which minions are still active because they float above the board. <laughs> An ankle biter is the only card. That's not gonna do much. I had lethal from this, so I guess I'm just messing around. <laughs> ho 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 ho! So sassy. Fragile 1. I still don't know what fragile means and I can't mouse over this right now. I know what overrun is still. A 3 9! And every time it takes damage, it, it grows. Oh my goodness. Like the Gurubashi Berserker. Or whatever the hell it's called. Um, that's not a blue card. That's purple. Interesting. So you play this guy in the opposite lane, so it has to be in front of the minion you're playing, but then you can move it anywhere. Move it out of the way. Which is useful if it's not directly in front of a minion you want to use this turn, but it's to the side, still blocking it, things like that. Otherwise, it's just a 5-5 demon for 5. See, purple kinda seems like magic's black, to a certain extent. Although, it's it's more of a... It's more of a house than warlock, really, as far as I can see. At least, at least for now. What do I know? <clears throat> Slay me if you must, daughter of storms, but none here killed your rider. You could have said that to begin with! No one loyal would block the blood trade. Oh. Every gang has a doubter. Who's yours? This information buys my life. Let's find out. <laughs> That's a good point. Maybe. I know what doesn't buy your life, though, not providing me with the information. Because if I'm not getting it now, I'm not going to let you live on the off chance that you'll provide me with it later. Whether I, I will be willing or will not be willing to let you live if you give me the info, that's another matter entirely. But at least at that point we have some degree of cooperation. So we can proceed.
The Oracle at Delphi, font of wisdom and seat of Apollo. In one world, a broken ruin. In another, a thriving temple. Which world are we in? Really let this place go. Well, mortals run rampant now. You underestimate their reach. Places like this must be hidden away. If not, they'll end up polluted or destroyed. Alright then. Time to ask for directions. I see a long road. There's a dead girl and she's walking around in a city that isn't there. That's that's it. What the Fen! No denizen of the underworld shall profane these grounds! <laughs> Whoa! Oh yeah? Well no bird girl is going to squash my dog. Did she just squash her dog? Nope, not quite. We come in this peace. This wolf isn't so bad. I'm calling him Fen, and we're teaming up for now. My cards are red, and his cards are blue. Yeah. If I burn a few cards of each color, I should be able to use any card I draw. I've told you, by the way. I've told you. And this one is much easier to figure out at this point, isn't it? Fen, it's Fen real. You it. Not quite sure about the Northern thing from the previous missions. Not an expert on that, far from it, but hey. Um, yes, of course, gems, and I'm playing red and blue right now. And of course, these are some aspects of blue I'm playing. No, but that's just a made up term, well, that's all terms are, but what I mean is a particular part of the blue deck. Not those blue decks that we've seen previously in the previous campaign, even though they are perfectly fine blue cards. That just have a different meaning. What is this? Wow. Interesting. So we get more cards standing there. Of course I want to play my minions though, except, except that I don't have any one drops. Oh no. Oh boy, so it's silence on the minion and destruction of the enchantment. Cannot move, that's not as impressive. I don't think I want terrain enchantments right now. I. That's the only thing I can do this turn, though. Is it really wise to ignore that possibility? Just choose not to do it? That sounds pretty dumb. I'll get rid of the Rune of Ordeal. The spelling isn't in the cards right now. It's not useful. Let's just can hedge. Alright, so I'll have two mana this turn. I like more canines though. That would be very nice. Not sold on this whole serpent and burning it. And rather than draw more cards, I'd rather have better stats. A 3-3. Three, three. Excellent, we're making progress. Night hag. Whoa, 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 hold on. So that's green and red. Yay, treats. Oh boy. That's an interesting green creature. Green is not magic screen as far as I can tell. Green is essentially black. With a tinge of something else. I think with a tinge of blue as far as I remember. But it could be horribly wrong. But yes, 
Green is essentially black. Look at this, it's a green creature with life tap. What's this nonsense? All right. I could play Daughters of the Forest, but this cut will just die. This will the Calliope Muse, really. Should probably just use Ignition to dispose of one thing. And get some red by burning another Ignition, I guess. I could play the Muse. Just have more damage going face. Not the worst of ideas, and I can use the Vene Yeah, let's play the Muse. Learn but your fate. And to be in control of what I get next time. Oh boy. Fine, more canines. I already have a Winter Wolf here though. Do I really want another Winter Wolf? Yes, because that's another canine. And this goes face. Good enough. I mean, yeah, you draw more cards and you have life tap, but that's okay with me. I do six damage with you too. The stars align. Oh, it can gain abilities, but it has to gain energy first. It gains plus one energy at the start of the turn. Well, it has no attack to begin with. It allows divination as long as it uses its action and energy. So it's just used to sit there and eventually draw you some cards, I guess. It's just going to die. Actually, I think it's better to burn a single wolf here. Now, hear me out on this one. Burn a single wolf. Use ignition to kill this. Play Daughters of the Forest here. Get some cards. Kill this. And deal some face damage. Instead of just getting more the canines on the board. Thing? Yeah, that sounds like a black thing to do. Wait, what? What was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm totally of the forest. Back in my hand. Oh, boy! But I'd rather have the wolf. Seriously. I appreciate more damage, but this wolf also gives me more damage. And it also has Wind Fury. And it ignores Almo, yes, and it's gonna draw me cards on this tile. So many cards, so little health. Learn your fate. Yeah, whatever, divination. Yeah, fine, fine, silence. Doesn't matter, I win. A red cliffs. Purple card. Is there no purple campaign available? Because I'm getting purple cards just like that. What's the occasion? It's a terrain enchantment. Wow. It disables rush and it deals damage. Two minions in all three opposing lanes. Every time you summon a minion into this lane. That's handy.
<laughs> wow. I know you're not a normal puppy, but you don't even have a scratch. I've been feeling stronger. I'm remembering more. You're not really reassuring me here. <laughs> Anyways, I got enough from the Oracle. Maybe. The next stop is some sort of invisible city and a dead girl. I know it's to the east, but I'm not sure how we get in. And me talking to the dead, well, let's just say it's complicated. If we can get close enough, I can follow a scent into the city. Hmm. The throne of Imperial Parsa. A new mission is given. To whom? Heed us, Ariel. An ancient power takes its first steps back into our world. Eldias. You must find her. You must bring her to us. My Empress speaks, and my duties are born. We impress upon you the urgency of this task. This is a prize that cannot be missed. Glory to Parsa. Glory eternal. Given righteous purpose, the angel splits the skies with his passage. Oh yeah! Delphi. The angel arrives. Do things drop from the sky a lot around here? Because this is happening more often than- Don't trust him! He stinks of Parsa! What's that? Greetings, lady. I am Ariel. Ariel. The Empress of Parsa requests that you attend upon her court. Not sure what Parsa is, but I know what Empress means. I'll pass. <laughs> Parsa's requests cannot easily be set aside. Listen, Sparkles. I've spent enough time as guest of royalty. Pretty much done with that. Don't Please, my lady. I implore you. That's cute, but are you going to use violence if I refuse? Also, I can't remember whether this is... Um, from the description, this should be orange. But this seems like the sort of thing I would, I would associate with white and magic, so it seems like yellow in this game, but we shall see. Alright. <laughs> Let's pay attention this time. I did not lose, I just... I just interrupted her and I figured it would be okay, but she stopped talking. Of course you get hero powers and this is essentially the hunter's hero power, except, you know, it's modified. If you have less health than the opponent, two damage to face, to enemy's face, otherwise one point of damage. Uh, I have the temple, he does not, so I can do additional cards, and uh, this is orange, with angels and fanatics. It seems like it should be magic's white. But it's not, it's orange. Yellow is more focused on defense and um, seems like magic's white. This, this is something else. All right. So the only thing I can do is um, play one cost card this turn. I'm going to play Kernhenge and I'm going to get rid of one Kernhenge because one Kernhenge for now is plenty. It's more than I need. Orange icon. Glory sunshine. Right. I'll put one card and then play Sons of the Pack. Oh my goodness, this has so much potential. A 3 3 with Wind Fury. Sounds excellent. I would have to sacrifice a fallen spirit for that though. I'm not going to play a 2 drop now anyway. As well get some of that sweet, sweet red mana. Sons of the pack buffed. I know I'm not drawing additional cards, but I want this to be a 3-3, just like that. It's awesome. Oh. It's a desert, what's the desert do? Ephemeral. 
I don't care that the enchantment is ephemeral. Who cares? Does it make the creature ephemeral? Actually, that wouldn't make... Oh yes, of course, the actual effect is, um, is when you attack the slain. You take one damage, ugh. My wolf is just going to die. <laughs> it's a 3-1 anyway. It's, it's a horrible proposition. It's not like I have much of an alternative, though. Oh boy. It's burn a single wolf, even though it sounds like a dreadful proposition. Uh, I can't play it this turn, and even if I did, it wouldn't save this wolf. We trade here, and then I summon this guy. Wait, what? Your opponent. Oh, face takes one damage. Right, not the minion. Face. Every time they say opponent, they mean face. But yes, the plan is to play this. Not only does it get buffed by the terrain, it has wind... It gets wind fury if you empower it. Next turn, I'm playing Chloe Sunshine. What is this? Summer Oasis. Why didn't you replace the desert? Oh no. Oh no. Minions kill the mortal, at least for a turn. Which is um, quite nice. It's a very useful effect. I mean, ordinarily it sounds like a very useful effect, but... It's not just about them being immortal at initial turn. You might want to do something to them once they get into play. So they get to act at least once. Ish. Let's get rid of the healing. We don't particularly need it. Let's play Chloe Sunshine! And get more cards with her. Did not buff it. But you know, buffing it and not playing Chloe Sunshine would not have been the better move, I think. Just doesn't sound as appealing as playing Chloe Sunshine, developing Chloe Sunshine on the board of 4 5. Long term thinking. Locked in. Hey there. <laughs> and it's now a rebel. <sighs> Oh, you are immortal now, aren't you? Well... Well, we could fix that. We will fix that. Oh, yes. First of all... Let's empower this guy. Let's remove that invulnerability from you. That kills the crab. Alright, of course, of course. Let's kill that. And get some healing going? Yeah, why not? The card draw is also nice, isn't it? Oh boy. Reporting. Yeah, it gives you a recruit. Oh. Have a mission. And that's the recruit. Thankfully, it's ephemeral due to being a token. Alright. Occupying a desert in. Oh no. Yeah, so it's a fall, fall with region 2. 
And this thing is immortal for now. Thankfully I have Chloe Sunshine! I can destroy the fall fall. For now. Actually, am I absolutely and utterly screwed if I have an invulnerable minion in front of me and... Wow. So it blocks, therefore you cannot go face, but you can't attack it either because it's invulnerable. Upsetting, to put it mildly. Fine, I'm going to burn the spirit. No, oh, sorry, I've already burned cards. Have I? Oh no, this card has already been burned. Right, of course. <clears throat> I'm gonna play two minions, so I'm getting rid of the wolf. As horrible as it may be. Wait, it's swift, which means... Oh, right, of course. Why would, it, why would I want to burn the wolf? It's swift. That's Wind Fury. I need to learn these keywords better. Instead of burning the wolf, I probably should develop it. Fine, let's burn the muse. Develop the wolf. And develop the spirit. <laughs> Come play. Well, you're gonna kill Chloe Sunshine, I get that, but... What the hell is that?! Reporting. Do we have a mission? It's mobile, which is cute, but and all the enemy minions. That's not particularly ha well. No, it is very helpful. This can attack twice. Therefore, if I cast Thunderclap, this says the mission. Well, you get your hero power. Come on, Vestin, you're messing up. I mean, developing cards on the board was the, was the way to go to an extent. But my goodness. Found the clap anyway. This guy goes face. He goes face again. Goes face again. Hero power. This one's good. Played against it already. A Crimson Pact. It's perfect removal. Can be extremely useful in the right side. I know, losing health on your hero may suck, but probably get the value of such a card. Especially handy if you have something that's uh, difficult to deal with, but um, something that doesn't have that much attack on its own. Show me the outro. This was not my intent. I know. Your animal struck first. You know, he does that. But what was your intent? I had hoped to persuade you. And how exactly? Hmm. As for you, I get the feeling this search is going to be hard enough without you biting everyone. No, don't say goodbye to him. I regret that things went wrong between us. Yeah, I figured. I would prove my sincerity. Well, no denizen of the underworld shall profane these grounds! Ugh, seriously? This again? Away from her, beast! 
Chivalry. Chivalry. Well, it's Listen, okay. Listen, pretty boy. Let's think carefully about who just flattened who before you start acting all protective. That's a good point. I mean, this would be more impressive if, if this guy didn't just get defeated by a tiny dog. I mean, this is cute and everything, and we will let him help by having a mixed red and orange deck, but... I'll play the minute all, but I want to check out the orange cards. Twin Files Zealot, pew pew pew, can attack twice per turn! <laughs> give it in mind, give it in mind that the frenzy keyword means Wind Fury, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's awesome, a 2-2 two, two with Wind Fury for two! Someone understands it without Wind Fury, but with it. The Dust Devil creates a desert. This is a terrible hostile environment, as far as attackers are concerned. Attackers into them, anyway. Every time I summon a zealot, the zealots become more powerful. Pretty impressive. And yet still, what I want right now is a mini tall. Let's get rid of this muse. And play a mini tall. Right there, centrally, to get more cards. Red and green. Yay! Treats! Could kill it with ignition, but that's probably not worth my time. Also a three one foot two, yes please. <clears throat> but a two two for two with frenzy might be a better idea. As much as I like the idea of having the desert. Let's give it a spirit for now. No no no, hold on, hold on. That, that doesn't give me the mana I want. So I have to burn one of these or give up on the Clarion. Let's give up on the Clarion for now, I guess. Not that many Zealots. And with that, let's bring in the Twin Fire Zealot. Locked in. This dies. The stars. Alive. It's plenty card draw potential, but it doesn't impress me all too much. I want Chloe Sunshine soon enough. Let's get rid of Amnesia, I guess. There was a number of things I could play this turn. For instance, I could just play a Twin Fire Zealot onto a spot. Instead of just playing on Curve. Because what am I going to play on Curve? The Muse? Could to get rid of the enemy's Muse. Get of the enemy's card draw. I feel like playing a Twin Fire Zealot would be a better choice overall. Let's get rid of a spirit. I want Chloe Sunshine next turn. I'm just playing a Zealot. Locked in. Place. 
reasonable choice to me. <laughs> in total, he's still 8 next turn, with ignition that's lethal. I'm not using ignition quite yet. We shall see what happens. Do you seek wisdom? Yeah, that's an issue. I can deal at most five this time. This is agile, but I can block it on every lane. Chloe Sunshine is the answer to my problems. That's <clears throat> because my unit doesn't have agility. Um, I could play this and mix in. An ignition that's not as tempting. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Let's get rid of Amnesia. And play Chloe Sunshine over here. Go to face twice. Now, I will allow this to attack if I move this to the right, however, then I'll be able to kill this. Now, granted, that I'll disable this unit from actually attacking the over here next turn, but it's probably going to die to this anyway, so I might as well move it. Protect its existence. Because you think my hero power was an option. I need to pay attention to my hero power. It's pretty handy, pretty powerful. Yay, treats. Yeah, ignition is handy for getting rid of such things. The hero power only takes one point of damage off at this juncture. Not as effective as I'd like it to be. That's a brilliant card, a 4-2. That needs to attack every single turn. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> First order of business, kill this. Secondly... Ignition kills that. And for full mana... I'll play the Crusader Attack! and the Dust Devil. What? I already am. Oh, right, of course. Because we also have to count in gems, and I've used up the orange one. Oh well. But I still can use my hero power, and damn it, I will. Yeah, it's not just about having the required number, you actually use them up when you play a card. So we want to play a lot of cards from one color, you actually need to have 
that number, otherwise you would just what the hell? Alright, of course it vanishes. Oh well then, your funeral. Let's go with both of them, don't? And you get a yellow card here. That's defensive. That's better than a shade of Naxxramas, that's... That's amazing! And of course, it is literally a shade. I don't want her to get rid of Fenrir. Come on. Don't pick one over the other. Instead of turning for home, Ingrid rides the storms west across the ocean. Her destination? Magmire. The corporation that purchased a country. Magpire sells God's blood only when it chooses to. But circumstances demand that she acquire more. Interesting. Take me to Zimek. You're not on today's list of authorized appointments. Do I look like I care? They're just doing their job, but unfortunately. We're fighting against purple, aren't we? Don't tell me that these lunatics are yellow. These lunatics are yellow. Ura! Oh my goodness, the lunatics are yellow. Every battle reaps more souls for Valhalla. All right, you get more life. Yeah, when none... I mean anything can be ephemeral, so yeah, let's stick to the wording. Non ephemeral minions die, you get a soul. If you have three or more at the start of a turn... Minions from your boneyard return to your hand and become ephemeral, so you can't abuse this sort of stuff. So they will not be coming back uh, the next time. And you lose three souls, so this doesn't happen. Uh, once you get three souls, it's get used, it gets used up and you have to start collecting them once again. Of course, Pursuit is what you get whenever you start second. In this case, we're going second, so we already have two souls. Just need one minion to die and we'll be getting it back. What about the opponent? You can click on the board. There's not much you can do for now. That's cute. What about this? They ignore armor. Well, let's not play things with armor then. The best I can play this turn is Grease Monkey. And I'm going to. This is a pure blue deck. Simple enough. Demolition Speedway is absolutely awesome. It's mostly just plus two attack. Unless you have to chump block, in which case it becomes even more awesome. Um, for now, I'll get one, rid of one. In, do I really want to keep two enchantments? It's not like I'm going to use two. That's ridiculous. Let's get rid of one and play a Grease Monkey over here. Need a wrench. I'm always so hesitant to lose her. What's my hero power? It's also smite? Wow. Yeah, my face is the destination.
What's he going to summon? Ura! Not a commando. Ura! One mana, two twos with piercing? That's ludicrous. Well. Well then. In these circumstances. I need to play the spike. But what do I get rid of? The speedway of all the things. The speedway is awesome. But then again, I also want the transfusion. I want many things. Very many things. Let's get rid of the Infalso. The bouncing will be handy. And play the Ice Spike. On this guy. What a rough encounter. Whoa! Brilliant! Losing health at a rapid pace. That's my enemy. He's going face. Get your one in false, I'll start playing them soon enough. But for now. Actually, developing the Road Queen might be better than using the Transfusion. What am I getting from the Transfusion? Well, plus two, plus two, and this gives me a three fall onto the ball. I'll, I also can block just one of them, and damn it, I will. Transfusion will help her heal. Also, the healer can help her heal. I shouldn't be so terrified of losing them either. I can get them back into my hand from the Journey of Souls. Ow! Halt! What? The attacking minion is stunned. Wait, what? So this defends in combat. Presumably, if I attack into it, it will stun my Grease Monkey. If I understand this correctly. Uh, burn the Enforcer. Kill this. Kill that. I love to heal, but it requires an action. Standard action. Enchant. Oh, it has almost got the- Oh, right! Enchant first! Uh, because it gives you attack as well. I'm so angry at myself. And I know you're angry, angry at me because it makes all the sense to enchant first. But what am I going to do now? Uh. That's still blocking for all it's worth. So it can either attack or not. Laser grid, hell is that? Oh no, they take damage and the grid covers all of this. Well then. I could bounce this, but I'd rather block it. So step one. It's still stunned. No, not like this. 
<sighs> Alright. So step one, like this. Let's do this. Room room indeed. I could play the speedway and go to face for mall. I could burn the speedway. And play transfusion. Burn the speedway. Questionable as it is. Region lady, please. That mistake hurts so, so much. Not only does it have such a powerful ability, it also has armor. Disgusting. It's too good. And I'm going to have to bounce things, otherwise it's going to take forever. Now, buff of the Valkyries is an option. Fine, buff of the Valkyries. Plan is I, I attack this. She focuses on healing instead of some other silly pursuits. And I go to face here, using my hero power. On top of all of this. Cycling! Brings the opponent closer to fatigue. But of course, the idea is, yeah, you killed the minion, but they draw something else. Which makes perfect sense if you're really desperate need to kill a minion, for instance it's heavily buffed. Fully heals at the end of the turn, no matter what. Give it more life, it'll last forever. What? Well, Zimic, Magpire founder and CEO. I can move a lot more product. I can move as much as you can give me. Chimilus, special assistant to the CEO. We're focusing on other matters at this time. Once your current contract has run its course, a representative will renegotiate your deal. That's cute. Striking me ends all arrangements with the Magpie Corporation. However, our security forces would like to test the Hulkin modifications fresh from R&D. Um... Now, I honestly don't know whether that was an act of aggression or actually an interesting business venture. Arcane intellect. Oh my goodness. Adjacent minions also have rush. Yes, but for now I'll have to play the scout. Angry Smacky. 2 1 with Wind Fury. Those cards are amazing. And if all, of, and if all cards are amazing, well, this forces me to reevaluate. 
just forces me to reevaluate everything. Get rid of this, I don't need to draw cards now. And I'll get it later anyway. I'll ride ahead. No power. Ura. The only thing I can play is the Grease Monkey, which is depressing. This unfortunate, <laughs> this unfortunately is a Valkyrie that's going to die before the Chosen hits the board. Plenty of three drops, but I can't use any of them. I'd love to play Road Queens, but for the Road Queens, but ah, let's get rid of the healing for now. Play the Grease Monkey here. Need a wrench? <laughs> Eliminate that guy. That's terrible placement. Works until I recently should have placed it over here. I wanted to place it in that corner anyway. I'm just going to move her. How dumb do you think I am? Let's get rid of the speedway, I know. Let's get rid of the speedway anyway. And play. Road Queen. Next turn, side call. Bone to ride. Damn grids. Ura! Fine, you sit there and attack alone. Still burn. Fine, getting rid of our chosen. Minions mostly aren't dying, aren't dying anyway. Taunt. I'm going to lose the side castle. Might as well. <sighs> I can't really attack with the chosen. Oh boy. I don't have to lose anything. I could play the queen and then heal. No, it's going to die. That's full attack. It's too much. It's unsustainable. Might as well play her. Once again, there's no using that rush because there's a taunt minion there. And even if it wasn't a taunt minion... But no! 
God damn it, I just dragged it down right now. No, damn it. Ah, just wanted to let go of it, but that's how you burn in this game. Ah. Boom to ride. I'll ride ahead. All of course you could do this. You can summon her. And use her up. Is that much of a point though? I think she's better this way because she can attack twice. Might as well ditch the sidecar. The hell? It works on defense too! Oh my goodness! Well, in that case, it's nearly indestructible. So many mistakes, but yes, in this case, I have to heal her. No, that won't help. That's, that's no good. Wow. Yeah, that's mighty impressive. That won't work because first the defense grid does the damage and then we have to deal with this. Stay that... calm, citizen. That phalanx is nearly invulnerable. Can't really attack though, or else it's going to die. So I'm just going to ignore it for now. Let's do this. Armor 2. Ignores enemy armor. And deals so much damage. Wow. Fine. Healing up. What a spot I got myself into. So many mistakes were made, but that's okay, I guess. Stabilized. Now I can finally destroy this using... The no, I didn't need more damage, I needed more health, and I'm not getting more health. I need to get that buff, and I'm not getting it. Mid lane with the buff. Halt. Come on, just die. Thank you. Just amazing. Spectacular card. Agile 2-5 for 3. Interesting. So it's a 6-5 for fall if you fulfill the condition. So presumably a fall cost card is something you would expect to have, um, say, 5-5 five, five stats? 
these things. Any other toys you need broken? Not at this time. Yeah, it was a peaceful Regarding position. your earlier inquiry, Magpire satellites have detected a previously unrecorded divine presence. And? I have authorization to offer you the following. If you bring this presence to us intact, our other arrangements would see significant improvement. That's not okay. Why push it on me? Why not send a fleet of your toys? You've the just... Divine Presence approached and interacted with the Remnant at Delphi. It is now headed to Vedma territory. Any significant Magpire presence in Vedma airspace would be... premature. Wow. Hopefully, our ladies will see eye to eye. I've seen better temples. Oh no, not this again. No denizen! I'll be oh. Fuck off! Odin owns you all! Oh! <laughs> she enchanted the terrain. She doesn't benefit from this. She doesn't care. If unoccupied, and I do not control a dread, what is it? What, what dread? Then the bottom of the <laughs> it is now a dread. Oh, okay, fine. And it becomes ephemeral. Things respawn here! Wow! Dredge is presumably just a tag, but they just, they just respawn like that! Brilliant! Uh, let's do this. Should I burn Brainstorm, really? Yeah, I'm burning Brainstorm. Might have been a questionable call. Questionable call, but they're making it anyway. Right. Don't drag things down. Right ahead. No matter what, be decisive. Otherwise, you burn gods. That's it's not like Hearthstone who can just drag the thing down and let go and everything will be fine. You'll burn things here. Oh, right, of course, it returned. D d obviously. Um, what does being a dredge mean? Can I. Oh, right, of course, it's also suffering from summoning sickness. Get rid of one Enforcer. I'm gonna Valkyrie tough. Let's do this. <laughs> Ride of the Valkyries. And motorcycles. What a world. What the hell? Teleport and a free action. Alright, my lovely ephemeral dredge. <sighs> Isn't it better, instead of moving it, just play more stuff? Sidecar is attractive, but it's just... Not attractive enough. How about a buff and the t oh, wait a minute. A buff? I am anyone Wind Fury, yes please. Will become so awesome. Um 
Fine, give it the side call. Buff hook. And go to face twice. What? It's an additional move action. Swift is not Wind Fury. It's not. But you gotta read! You gotta read! You gotta understand! Gets an additional move action each turn. But an additional action, an additional move action. Very particular, very precise. I mean, thank goodness, a 2 one for one with Wind Fury would be pretty ridiculous. Do you dream? Stunned pretty much permanently. Well, thank goodness I moved her. Oh, look, the Road Queen. Kill the Enforcer. Play her. Boom to die. And another scout. I'll ride ahead. Kill this. Thankfully, it regions the end of every turn. Do you seek wisdom? All right. Jumping to the side and attacking. Moving to the side and attacking. Attacking. That's why it's helpful to have that bike. Just step to the side at the start and use your normal action as normal. Blight. Well, this is pretty hardcore. Although it requires a decent, se yeah, that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> Interesting power. Now, you're gonna tell me who else has been here. And if I don't get something I can sell. All right. This is one of the problems with oracles. The instructions seemed clear, but now we're here, and there's no sign of a dead girl, no sign of an invisible city, and definitely no sign of my mom. I can sense a great deal of faith. The city must lie there, but I do not know how it might be revealed. Doggy. Those trucks. You know, I think I figured out how to find the city. Get on one of them. Those are Volkov trucks. The Volkov and the Vedma witches they serve have immense resources. Best tread lightly when they are near. Tread lightly? Yes, goddess. Or even better, keep your distance entirely. That's not her style. Oh my goodness. Alright, new plan. Follow these trucks through the magical doorway. 
goddess the Vedma. Ved blah blah blah. Don't worry, handsome. We'll tread lightly. I stop for a moment. I'm not saying it's right, but I can feel the conflict coming towards us. New souls will crowd the gates of the underworld before this day is through. And you know what? I love it. Now! Go! This is treading lightly. I wasn't expecting an army. Do you think they know I'm a queen? I'm the queen of the dead, though. Um, game? This is what? Raiders? Oh, this is going to... What? You can't! Oh my goodness! Of course, its name becomes a desert when it dies. Well, <laughs> nothing personal, kitty, but uh, you need to go. Oh, wow. Just deals damage. You don't have to attack with it. I don't want the Clarion. Wait, what is this? Interesting. But no. First of all, playing a kitty. I thought it would make a noise. Oh. I am playing against green. Your opponent's hand. Well then, he knows now. Yeah. Well, see, this is what green is like. It's messed up. Kitty. I, pre I mean, I could just ignite that thing. But I kind of want my desert. Well. Getting rid of the muse. Um, sorry, kitty. Oh, look at this. No! It's a monstrous buff. Can't allow that to happen. Well, I have options. Get rid of the spirit. Play the wyvern. Green. Beginning analysis. Who the hell are you? She doesn't have local yet, does she? It's got zero energy. Spell casting is necessary for her to gain energy. Actually, no, no, I want to burn you. Gotta drag in the right direction. Um, thankfully, you can cancel that. I want the cannon in the middle? 
it's tough to deal with. And then it's just a good place. No, no, just probably I get it. By the sound of things, green in this game is essentially blue. From magic. Alright. So here's the plan. First of all, play this guy over here. And secondly, ignite that bull. Not burning cards. What do you want to do? Trade? I'll draw a card. It's frenzy and well, minus to hell. That's fine, I can take some damage. I can dish some damage out too. Sunshine. <sighs> I mean, I could just trade here. Don't have enough to make worthwhile use of amnesia. Because I could amnesia then attack, the wyvern would not die. But I think I'd rather trade the wyvern away. Play Chloe Sunshine onto this lane and go to face. Not burning anything. My opponent has a single card, 7 health, I have 20, I'm fine. No canines. Alright. Kill this. Play the cannon. Go to face. Even if I burn a card, I won't be able to play the Dune Kitty. Because I don't have the gem I need. Also, I'm not getting rid of amnesia. I'm not burning any cards now. I know that the use of hero power, judicious use of hero power, could have been extremely beneficial, but no. Plus two attack after taking damage, but you're gonna die. Actually, you're not going to die. Well, sorry, I've changed my mind. You're gonna die. But I can summon the Fallen Spirit, all use my hero power, do great many things in order to win. <laughs> Come play. I know this lady. <laughs> so many effects on such a small frame. Interesting. Any minion of your choice. And deals 3 damage to anyone, including enemy's face, when it dies. This is a threat. Yes, it's only a full full for 5, but... It's damage on a stick. And if minions are dying left and right, it's probably what you want. Because this benefits you whether it lives or dies. Elsewhere within the invisible city, 
The reason for the Volkov attack is made clear. What is the reason? We didn't do anything! Why are you chasing us? You know that magic of any kind must be reported to the Vedma. Attempting to elude us once we had detected your... A girlfriend was pointless. Because of you two, I had to ruin a perfectly nice neighborhood. But now... Now we must speak of... Consequences. Wait! No! Yeah, green seems pretty despicable. It's blue with shades of black. I get the impression it was black with shades of blue, but... It's still awful. Alright ladies, y'all going down. <laughs> Ah, oh, these wolves combo one another so well. Let's get rid of this thing. Serpent, then. And take the center with an enchantment for now. No canines nearby, thankfully. <laughs> I want canines? I'll show you canines. Interested in attacking into that? Good luck. Summon canines near that guy. Please don't summon canines. Who the hell are you? We have to give her mana, but when you do, <laughs> when you do, she just deals two damage. She does not endanger her own existence through attacking. Well, then I'll endanger her existence. Die. <sighs> I don't like the idea of letting the sell it. Just doesn't seem right. Fine, burning the daughters of the forest. Was I just hit for zero? Whoa! Right, fine, let's do... Wait, what? All right, the ephemeral, they will just be destroyed entirely. Phase out of existence. <clears throat> Let's burn the ice spike. Summon a crusader here. Oh no. Yeah, frenzy is um, wind fury. But yeah, of course, I don't have enough gems! Locked in. It won't work for me because there's not enough orange here. Summoning two of them in a turn wasn't going to happen anyway, but I can't even afford to summon one because I only have one orange. Uh, 
Ow. Yeah, my face doesn't matter as much at this point. Well, after being fed mana, she just obliterated that target. Which means she'll live. Fine. I'll burn one of them. Play the other. Attack! You will run out. To immobilize these minions instead of just using the hero power. You could just play on the side. I don't want to burn anything. Uh, you could just play on the safe side and play this here. Yeah, it's immobilized, of course. It wasn't going anywhere anyway. She was going to die. Ow. Save my units. Empower the wolf. Fine, let's do it like this. Of course, Alpha Strike, I need to remember that. Getting rid of these is difficult. Because even when defending, they still deal damage first. And I'm out of cards. Absolutely nothing in hand. Region 1, eh? A rebel. What are they going to turn into a rebel? You can turn a small cat into a rebel. Anything, really. It's just hilarious. Alright. Let's play her. Hey there. Yep, that serpent is now a rebel. What a world. All you know, like a normal person, I could have traded with the wolf and summoned the serpent onto the middle spot to be able to benefit from the buff, but no. If I spend a move to get it though, that's going to be a bit of a waste. Approaching target. This guy, whoa, whoa! One person gets agile and rush. Oh no, you feel the crystals. Ow! Quite tactical. <clears throat> oh yeah! A frenzied minion with a buff. Locked in. Reporting. Now, it's fairly pointless to be doing this, but hey, why not? None of crystals. One of your minions died during the opponent's last turn. Ha. Huh. Well then. It becomes a 6-6 six, six for fall, which is pretty neat. Stacking artifact. It 
It's essentially a landmine. Oh my. This is extremely handy. The old card draw is at such a premium in this game. Yeah, I keep tossing out the card that gives me card draw. But then again, I keep winning quickly enough to not need it anyway. Give me the next mission. Who could do this to their own people? Vedma Communist. witches. The Volkov are bad enough, but they're just the foot soldiers. Dogs kept on the leash of the Vedma witch brigades. They do this to all their cities? Vedma law says that any magic done within their borders belongs to them. And they mean that whoever wields the magic belongs to them, not just the magic. It's a law they seem to enjoy enforcing. Who was that girl? What did the soldiers want with her? Her name is Eva. She wasn't even doing anything. Hold there. We don't want any trouble. The boy and I were just leaving. That's profound. Your magic is apparent to us. State your pantheon and show us your papers. Failure to cooperate will result in a binding ritual. Uh. If we have any papers. And I've spent enough time bound to another's will. Once again, this was this was fairly futile because she's going to enforce the law and she's not going to comply. So it really doesn't matter. They just had to go through this stupid ritual in order for the combat to be somewhat, well, ritually sanctified. But it was going to happen no matter what. So they could have, they could have as well not said anything, and it wouldn't have been any more kosher, now would it? It's meaningless. Do you want to get rid of amnesia? I might just need it dearly. Let's get rid of this bit pain. It's a four two four three, which is cute, but not cute enough. 2 one for one seems reasonable, but it's not particularly impressive at this point. It's adequate, as far as I can tell. Right, green, show me what you've got. Aquarius dude, whatever. Five five four. Nothing more. Fine, I'm burning one of them. I have three in my hand. And I need the mana. Trading. One drop this turn. Look. Burning amnesia. Can't even play Chloe Sunshine. Can't play anything under the ball this turn. Approaching target. Oh no, not this. Too green to summon one of these, so I'll have to get rid of one of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do it. And go to face. They can't even kill him unless they find some buffs. Hopefully they won't. Agility ass. It's gonna go face, isn't it? No? Shuffling a little bit to the side, I see. Oh. That's not a canine, though. Beginning analysis. No, no, not the analysis. The analyst. Shuffle off to the side, Chloe Sunshine enters the board. Of course it's a local! I think it gets buffed, it's gonna die there. Could burn things, but I don't particularly want to burn these things. Fine, let's burn Amnesia. I need my minions. Oh now what is this? Almost plus in plus one attack. Oh boy. I mean, I can play the Muse and the Hatchling, but then I won't be able to play Chloe Sunshine. And I think I do desperately want to play Chloe Sunshine. I can kill this, but then Chloe Sunshine dies. Fine, so be it. Oh no, not like this. Of course it's a local. And this is a local as well. Need to clear these guys up. All right, I see how it is. You're going to die, this is Chloe. I'm playing another Chloe Sunshine, yeah. I understand your agility. will come to an end soon enough and I'm shuffling this to the side if you're not attacking into this then I should have will oh you're shuffling away from that field eh that's probably my minion yeah figures Alright then. No, it's not alright. It's far from being alright. Well, this is the only viable target. I don't particularly mind. Making this vulnerable. And this can also die now. Unless... 
I still want this guy to live. Let's do it. A 3-3. Three, three. Excellent! We have the ball to ourselves. Plenty of damage on it to boot. Not much health left. Walded. Oh my goodness, it's resistant to magic. And other things, potentially. There's plenty of damage to minions, but... Well, guys, just going to die. Do I want a series of trades here? Yeah, I think I do. It's the best I can get. Shuffle to the side, it will shuffle to the side. Because it will. No, not more cadets. But of course, that's dreadfully appropriate. Pity, because this can heal. But alas, it was just not meant to be. Yeah, this guy might have been more useful a bit to the side. Yeah, let's put the giant here. In a minute all. Now my hand is empty. I didn't want to burn anything. Really, I really wanted to have my minions with me on the board. Oh, no. no canines nearby, though. Chasing minions with plus one attack and overrun. This game mostly buffs others. Oh no, of course. Fine. Going down. Down you go. Really? But if that's the end of chapter one, that means that's the end because I don't think chapter two is available yet. Or is it? Oh my goodness. You just pay them. And things happen. With green you just give your units mana and they make it into wonderful effects. As long as the witches, I guess. 
That's all of them all. Temptation, interesting orange card. Decent concept. Oh, because it's a permanent reduction in cost, but it's to act on your behest at least once. Oh, mostly once. Oh look, a path. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. It's interesting. The Sky Rangers! They'll be here soon! They will hunt us, Goddess. They will see your power as theirs now. Way too many people are way too into that. We need the girl to find my mom, so our road leads to her. Simple as that. Um, they're probably holding her hostage in the same facility they're holding the mother. At least she has information on where such an advanced facility would be located. But yeah. Uh, no further chapters as far as the story mode is concerned. So that's it as far as the campaign is concerned.